Josh, I'm going to come to you now. Whether we're talking about uh, the Big Ten tournament or in the NCAAs as a whole, what are your chances of hometown Maryland, uh, University of Maryland, I should say. We had the Maryland Heat on. University of Maryland, what are they going to do this year? Well, it's going to be rough. I mean, losing Checo, it's huge. Thin on the front line. It's going to be all about the guards, mellow, and if the freshmen can play up to their potential. I think Sweet 16 is the best that they realistically mm -hmm. can do, though. Yeah, so if you say Sweet 16, I'm definitely going to choose them to go to the Final Four because, but we're going to bring on somebody else that knows a little bit more about basketball than Josh E. Laurie. Sierra <laughs> Breeze, who's coming up next? Up next, we've got Khalif Tate, student athlete from My Cesar man. Chavez, team leader in points per game, led his team to the quarterfinals of the DCSAA tournament. My uh, man, Khalif Tate, <laughs> welcome to the Ricardo Report at DKN Sports. I got to tell you, I got familiar with you towards the end of the season, man. You're definitely one of my favorite student athletes. I'm just sad that you graduated, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd love to cover you for another year. What, you, you, you brought us... Uh, I put uh, a Chavez gear. Some, 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 some Cesar Chavez? Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez. <laughs> you brought us a shirt. Look, bro, we'll hang this in the cave. We got to get you to sign it before you uh, get on out of here. Appreciate gotcha. you for that. Look, I'm going to get you started on this here. You all won the PCSAA. Uh, great season for you as well as your teammates. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is your senior year. You uh, went to the quarterfinals. You fell to Gonzaga, but they yeah. went on to win the title. So th th there's no, uh, no shame in that as well. What will you take the most from your time as a student athlete here in the District of Columbia? Oh, well, I take that. Like, I'm a hard worker on the court and off the court in school, get my grades together in school so I can be successful in life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Breezy. So, what player did you most enjoy playing oh, against? Oh, okay. Well, hey, wait, 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 we talking trash now? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. What, what player did you most enjoy playing against? Chris Likes, man. <laughs> Chris Likes, he's a good player. Right. He's a, he was a small guy, though, yeah. but he's a good player. I played against him at AU ball to his last summer. So, so. I, I mean, look, for, for everybody who know, Chris Likes is, it, they, they probably list him at 5'8". He's probably really 5'4". I'm just joking, Chris. <laughs> come on the show, Chris. Right. <laughs> come on the show. What makes him uh, special? How, how does he get it done out there? He's a he's a the leader on the scene. Mm -hmm. Like he step up when they need him to step up, score the ball when they need him to score, pass the ball really well. Absolutely. Get his teammates involved really well. Yeah. He just the leader on his team for for. Stays calm in, yeah. in the biggest moments. He plays the best. Absolutely. All right, now, obviously, you're going to be making the transition to playing college ball. It's uh -huh. coming up soon. So I just wanted to get a sense of where you think you can improve the most at the next level. Uh, well, all the college college coaches are saying I need to get in the weight room, so right. that's that's the one thing I'm doing right now. Like they they ain't seen them, them rocks that you got, bro? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I'm doing my offseason right. right now, getting in the weight room and continue to work hard in the gym. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Now, look, to, to back me up here, this yeah. is the time in which we show the world that you actually know a lot more about uh, basketball than our uh, resident yeah, expert yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I was a point guard <laughs> in my day, so don't pretend like no, no. That, that, that was in uh, U10. U10. He was 12 playing in U10. I got we'll, to JV we'll in later. high school, okay? All right. Listen, check this out, though. Tournament, big time NCAA tournament is on the way. Seth Davis, Josh, I don't know if you read this. Seth Davis of Sports Illustrated of said that out of all of the teams, that only eight of them have a realistic shot at winning the NCAA tournament this year. That's uh, SMU, Oregon, Villanova, Louisville, Gonzaga, UCLA, UNC, and Kansas. What happened to Kentucky, though? All right. Uh, what happened to Kentucky? Hey, I mean, yo. first of all, he's wrong there. Second of all... <laughs> It's wide open this year. Okay. Absolutely wide open. Anyone <laughs> okay. Can All right. So what what, what are, out of, out of the, we won't go final four because we don't even know the regions aren't set yet, so it's unrealistic to do that. Your top five teams, who's going to be around at the end of the tournament? Okay, obviously you got to talk about UCLA, Lonzo Ball. His range is just a little right, bit further yeah, than yeah. yours. But he's a game changer. You, how are you going to disrespect you like that? That's a step. Just a step. No, so no, disrespectful. No, no. All right. Go ahead. UNC, Roy Williams, he's always got a veteran squad. They've got senior forward. They got a senior forward, uh, Kennedy Meeks. He's been killing on boards mm. almost a double-double a game. Duke, Coach K just knows yeah. a way. And, I mean, it would be the perfect finish to Grayson Allen's career as the latest Duke villain. Uh, you know what? Grayson, you, uh, when I didn't get into – but – if, if Grayson Allen didn't look like Grayson Allen, he'd probably have been suspended for the year, but we're not going to get into that <laughs> right now. Not going to get into that. That's your five? 
Uh, no, that was three. Okay. Come on. <laughs> all right, I've got Kansas. They've been the most consistent team all season. Granted, they lost in the first round, but that was without their best player, Josh Jackson. And Kentucky, because, I mean, Malik Monk, he can light it up Ooh. with anybody in the league. And also, it's Coach Cal. There you go. All right, Breezy, who you got? All right, so on my list, I have Kentucky, right. and <laughs> Villanova, Duke, Syracuse, and Oregon. Syracuse. Syracuse. I Syracuse. Love them. Where, where's it? My dad's from Syracuse. I had to pick them. Like, there you I go. All right, I feel you. I'm <laughs> orange, man. I, I, I love it. I love yeah, it. I say Syracuse, too, because yeah. Frank, Frank Howe came from 46. He's really tough on that team. There we go. Uh, I say Kentucky. That's my NCAA team, for real, for real. That's real. Darren Fox and Millie Monk, two best backcourts at NCAA yeah. right now to me. Without a doubt. Yeah, UCLA, a lot of the ball leading this team to wins. Uh, I say Oregon. Mm hmm and Kansas. That's okay. Now let me ask you this uh, about Kentucky, and, and yeah. uh, the producers are telling me we got to get out of here. But let me ask you this about Kentucky: Do you believe that the one and done rule? You're a basketball. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't pretend to be a basketball player like you. I played oh, football, no. but do you believe that the one and done rule? Do you believe that that has hurt the high school and NBA game, or is it good for sports? Oh, uh, I think it's good for sports because. It helped teams comp compete with each other, mm -hmm. grind with each other and all that, see who wanted, who wanted the most. That's what's up. That's what's up. My teams, uh, UNC, Louisville, UCLA, Villanova, and Kansas. I got a, uh, I got a, a, a horse in this race. I'm rooting for UCLA. Josh, tell you, I'm a Laker fan, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for ball. Uh, I'm looking for ball to come ball out in <laughs> you've LA been next year. Listening to Levar a little too much. Uh, That's you know, all I gotta say. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for ball to come through. But Khalif Tate, thank you very much for dropping by the cave, thanks, brother. Thanks, I appreciate you very much. On behalf of our co-host, Miss Sierra Breeze, Mr. Josh E. Laurie, our previous guests, Mike Anderson, Antoine Littleton, National Player of the Year, I am your official voice of high school sports, Chad Ricardo. This is the Ricardo Report at DKN Sports.